Hi everyone, good evening to all. Today we are going to discuss about impeller sleep factor of centrifugal compressor. And in this video, we'll try to understand that what factors, you know, cause the impeller, you know, to sleep at outlet. And uh, so I'm sure that this video is going to be very interesting. So please do keep watching until the end and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So let's begin the discussion. Sleep factor. So first of all, let us understand what is sleep. Sleep occurs at impeller outlet. This is shown here. And uh, why why it is sleep? Because the gas has you know has to follow the tangential component. Anyway, I mean along the blade angle, but uh, it doesn't. It slightly goes backward side. Why? Because you see if impeller is rotating in this direction in this direction there is a plus sign which is shown as a high pressure side on top side it is called low pressure side that is minus zone sign so high pressure side follow the blade angle but low pressure side doesn't follow it slightly divert this and so overall you know the actual velocity is coming slightly you know backward direction on the opposite direction to the direction of rotation and this is called the sleep. So let us understand the sleep factor. And because of the sleep, you see earlier it should be this should be the actual whirl component, but because of the sleep, this one is only the actual you know tangential component or whirl component component, and that is why because of the sleep, the performance of compressor is deteriorated and discharge pressure is lowered. So what is sleep velocity? Sleep factor by definition is CW2 upon CW2 dash is the sleep factor. So what is sleep velocity? CW2 dash minus CW2. So we can write CW2 dash minus, we can replace CW2 by C sigma into CW2 dash. So sleep velocity is equal to one minus sigma bracket close into CW2 dash. This is the sleep velocity. We can call this is a sleep velocity. Then what is the reason for impeller to sleep? Why you know gas is slipped at outlet? Ideally, it should follow this much, but why this is shorter? There are two reasons. One is the space between the two blades, another is a blade angle. If the space between the two blades is narrowed, then slightly it will follow. But for that, we need to increase the number of blades. But increasing the number of blades means very less space and cause the blockage of the gas and a lot of frictions arises because of this. And so practically it is not possible that we can increase n number of, you know, this um, number of blades. We have to limit this. Another is a blade angle. The blade angle, if you measure from the radial, if it is theta, uh, beta 2 is very large, sleep factor will be i mean better you can say sleep factor is a more cause cause larger value is a smaller so sleep factor will be more but if beta 2 is a measure from radial is a smaller then law sleep factor will be lowered so that means all the correlation for sleep factor has to one is a beta 2 and another is for number of blades. Only two factors can influence the sleep factor. And so let's see the, what are the correlation. I have used only, there are so many correlations are available. However, I have used here the Weissner uh, factors, very you know, useful factors, sleep, uh, useful formula for sleep factor. That is sigma is equal to one minus square root of cos beta two upon n to the power zero seven. 0.7 beta 2 please note that is impeller outlet blade angle measured from radial not the tangential and n is number of blades there are two, two factors if you can see if beta 2 is very large cos beta 2 will be smaller so sigma will be larger similarly n is a very large this factor becomes a small so again sigma will be larger so 
as I said, we have to select the appropriate value of n and beta 2 so that sleep factor should typically lies between 0 0.85 to 0.9 typically, but again by selecting the proper value of n and uh, beta 2. So thank you. Thank you for watching.